Hey guys, so this is going to be a review of the Topaz, 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 the Topaz Denoise AI. So this is what it says basically on the tin. It, it denoises your photos. Um, so basically what noise means basically is sometimes when you take, like depending on what camera you have. So if you take photos in low light, you get kind of... It's like fuzziness, you know, you know, years ago when we had TVs that needed an aerial and to get a better signal and sometimes you'll have that, that, was it white noise sort of thing? It's like, it's like that kind of thing, but it's not, um, but you get what I mean. If you're a photographer, you know what I mean. It's kind of that busyness in a photo. So basically this application claims that it can denoise your photos so first off, um, currently you can get a free trial. I think it's up to 30 days so you can um, play, play, or you can play around with it or whatever before you buy it buy it to make sure that it is for you. Um, this is obviously for people that do not have like Photoshop um, or um, Lightroom, that sort of thing, um, for whatever reason. So obviously if you've got Photoshop and all that, you don't need you don't need this because you can do that in Photoshop or in Lightroom. They're, I think they're both, they're both by Adobe, but I think Lightroom's more advanced. I don't know. Either way, <laughs> you know, if you've got them applications, you're not going to need this. So this, uh, as I said, it removes noise and it also enhances sharpness because what can happen is as you remove noise from a photo, it also... Uh, what can happen is you can get rid of it, it can make it less like sharp and everything like that so you can add some sharpness if you back into the photo if you need to what you can also do with this is you can recover the photo photo as well so um another thing that can happen is you can lose detail but if you want to add a little bit more of the original photo without being it as back to what it was before as it's noise yourself you can do that as well and um, we can it also has color noise reduction as well and um, with the remove noise and stuff like that you can obviously they're all dialed so it's not it doesn't really feel like the same for every photo you can like change it obviously because some might need a lot of noise removal some may not need, need a lot of no uh, noise removal and also <coughs> You can just auto, auto do it, so there's a button and it'll try and figure it out for you, but sometimes it's just better to do it manually. Personally, I've never used the um, auto buff, the um, auto button. <laughs> right, so, is it worth it? For me, I found that it works really well. Um, basically, I've been taking a lot of like night photos and everything like that, and obviously the camera that I have isn't a DSLR, it's only a bridge camera, so taking it in like night time it does kind of suffer sometimes um so it's great to have this in or any other sort of low light but i figured that i tend to get the noise mostly at night time and like low uh low light which is you know a good adver advertisement if you want the bridge camera but <laughs> but um so i found that it works really well it's easy to kind of um obviously it's easy to use you've literally it's just um what do you call them the um what do you call them again? The bar things. I don't know what they're called, but it's easy to set, you know, what you want. As I said, how much noise you want, if you want any sharpness, that stuff is really easy to use. Also, what, what, <clears throat> also with it as well, it can show you a preview, like a side side preview, so you can change how zoomed in you want it. Um, so as you alter each setting, it will show you a preview so on one side it will show you what it, the original photo is and then the other side will show you what it looks like with the setting so you can see before you save it that sort of thing so this retails for now its usual price is £79.99 but currently it is on sale for £59.99 and this is all in dollars so if you are in the UK or in anywhere else in the world do bear in mind that your bank, depending on who you bank with, but most banks do charge a currency exchange. So if you want information on that, you can find that with your individual 
<clears throat> individual bag. Overall, would I be buying this? Maybe. Um, it's not like I'm always taking my photography, but as we're going into winter and it's getting like foggy and everything like that, um, it is something that I might invest in instead of sort of <laughs> instead of um, you know, until. I get a better camera and um, saying that this is quite pricey if you are looking to start sort of expanding photography or you're someone who takes a lot of like uh, photos but like to edit them me I just kind of go with the flow I tend to just stick to straight out of camera just because I prefer more of that sort of like natural sort of look especially when it comes to landscapes i rarely edit them unless they really need to but if you're somebody who processes a lot of photos then i would not get this just get photoshop just get adobe's all their photo software because this is not really worth it if you're that kind of person but if you're somebody like me that tends not to edit their photos unless they really need to then this would be perfect me for me another thing as well this company also has other like photo editing um software software as well which you can buy separately um i can't remember what they are from the top of my head um but that is available but as i said it's all right if you're somebody who you know doesn't do that much post editing for whatever reason for me i just i just prefer my photos to look like the you know they've been taken and not like artificial um i hate that look or with landscape anyway um, but if you're somebody who does a lot of post editing then this is not worth it it is just cheaper just to get adobe's photoshop lightroom all that i wouldn't recommend this so that is it for this review so bye guys